Hey guys, today we're gonna draw the Golden Gate Bridge. So let's start by drawing the waterline at the bottom of the paper. Then draw some rocks on both sides. And on top of it, we'll sit the anchorage blocks with the square ends. And make sure that they are level. And in reality, those are actually made of concrete. Then at the surface of the water, draw two small rectangles for the tower foundations. And now for the tower, one tall stick going up. Try to make it as straight as you can. And you can also use a ruler if you prefer. So each tower foundation would actually have two columns like that. But only draw one because those are the one closer to us, the one in the front. And we will draw the other one later. And so make these two at the same height. OK, next, let's draw the main cables. First, from the first tower to the ground on the left. Then the middle one connecting the two towers. Make sure that the curve of the cable goes low enough, very close to the bridge deck. Otherwise, it's going to end up like one of my failed drawing. So it goes slow and smooth. You can lightly sketch it like me before drawing it for real to make sure of the accuracy. And lastly, draw the cable connecting the second tower to the ground on our right hand side. And give those cables some thickness. And now we can draw the bridge deck which links the two anchorage blocks. So make sure not to draw over the two columns. So just a straight line and give it also some extra thickness. Same here, you can use a ruler if you prefer. And after the deck is done, we can finish the towers by drawing the second columns. But make sure to go behind the deck and behind the main cable because those columns are further away from us. So the second one on the right, behind the deck and the cable. And now we can also draw the cables that are linking those columns to the ground. The left one. And the middle section one. Again, by making sure not to go over the previous calvo and posts. For the middle sections, it is a little tricky because it's crossing the front cable, so try to copy my lines. Alright, and the last section. Now that we have all the main cables, Let's draw the suspension cables, which link the main cables to the bridge deck. So just draw vertical lines and try to space them equally. You can also draw the ones on the cable behind using a ruler if needed. Then link the two columns on each tower, a horizontal bar on the very top, and two arches in the middle. So two on each tower, and that would be four in total. I would like to hash it. The two columns are also connected below the deck, so we will draw some structural details. So X shapes. And on the other side. And finally, we will just add some little details to the drawing to make it look more real. So, go over the outline for the bottom of the main cable. This way, it will give it more consistency. And the same for the front columns. The left one and the right one. And color the bottom of the deck to give it some shadow. As well as the structural details, we would make some lines darker 
to give this 2D drawing some 3D effect. The X structures and the arches on both sides. And finally, you can add some more details to the rocks if you want. Some waves for the water. And I am also adding a little boat to show the audience what is the scale of the drawing. This way they know the bridge is a huge brick. Alright, thanks for watching and don't forget to give me a like and to share with your friends. I hope that you liked it and that it was helpful. See you soon!